Well, it would be pretty much pointless to do a whole bunch of videos on Windows 10 without showing you how to do Windows updates because pretty much every Windows operating system needs to be updated and regularly. So we're going to cover that in this video and also some features of Windows Update. So if I go ahead and open up my start menu here, I'm going to do go a different way. Usually I'll just type in Windows Update, you know, and it'll just go to Windows Update settings or check for updates. But we're going to go into the settings here. I'm going to open up this little cog. Oh, wow. It's actually doing Cortana. So i got to click out of the Start menu first. Let me click on the Start menu button, then click Settings. I'm going to scroll down to Update and Security. And as you can see right here, I can click Check for Updates. Now, I just recently checked for updates and downloaded them. So obviously, it's not going to find any. See, your device is up to date. Yay. Now, I can look at my update history at this point in time. And see, isn't that awesome? Let's see what our recovery options are here. Reset this PC, advanced startup. That is definitely beyond the scope of this video, but there are recovery options if you installed an update and it's causing you issues. And we're going to go ahead and go down to update settings. Check out the change active hours. This will let me, let basically let Windows know when you're, uh, you're currently or when you frequently use your computer. So let's say you are on your computer between 5 a.m. and 12 p.m. Um, sorry, 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. You can actually set that here, and it'll actually disregard doing updates during that time frame. It'll also uh, disregard doing restarts during that time. Restart options actually gives you an option to pick when you would like to uh, have it perform a restart. And advanced options gives you a few other options here. Um, it'll give you updates for other Microsoft products. Let's say you have Office installed. Uh, there are feature updates. So let's say Windows 10 rolls out a new feature. You can actually make it so it does not install those features automatically. Um, and you can also have uh, his sign in inf your sign-in info automatically finish setting up your device after an update. And this is kind of a cool feature you can read more about. But essentially, it's as long as you have a sign-in um, as long as you have a sign-in set up, it'll let you uh, automatically perform your updates when you sign in. It'll also uh, automatically configure your settings on your device if you're setting up a second computer. We can also choose how updates are delivered. Updates from more than one place. Uh, when this was turned on, your PC may also send parts of previously downloaded Windows update and apps to PCs on your local network or PCs on the network, depending on what is selected. Essentially, this feature uh, will allow you to take bits and pieces of bits and pieces of your network of your downloads and distribute them across your local network so that other computers can download them quicker. Uh, it's kind of an advanced feature. That's why they put it under how they're delivered, and that's pretty much it. Now, the first few updates you do, obviously, when you get Windows 10, are significantly. Uh, significantly well signif are large they're large the first few updates you get so naturally it will probably take a while i know the the surface pros i set up recently actually had like three to four hours worth of updates when i first launched launched them they were refurb units for the surface pro 3 so i do know that a lot of computers ship with a more recent version of windows 10 than that but uh, be prepared to wait a little while if you haven't done your updates in a long time but always have them on for security purposes and that's all there is to it.